Now, for this particular video, I want to talk about a basic survival skill that I think so many humans lack. This survival skill, and yes, I call it a survival skill, is tact. Tact is that thing where you couch something that you need to say in a manner that won't hurt somebody despite the fact that it could. Tact is when you wait until somebody's left the room before you make a certain comment that might offend them. Tact is quite simply the art of knowing how to get along with people in a social setting without offending them. It's knowing when not to say something and when to say something in a certain way. It's knowing when not to do something until later. It's not scratching your ass in the middle of a fancy diner. <laughs> it's following an etiquette that is both unwritten and yet easily understood. When we use tact as a skill actively in our lives, we don't have to be PC, but we can be nice. We can be mindful of other people. And they're, like if somebody lost a relative to a car crash or something, don't immediately start bringing up traffic deaths. Like, it's a thing. When somebody's going through a really rough patch of depression, cracking jokes about cutting or suicides pretty off the fucking tack table. When you have something that could be said or done or whatever you don't need to do, and there's no point and purpose for doing it in a malicious way, and you choose to do it in a thoughtless or heartless manner, that is a lack of tact. And the reason I call this a survival skill is because society has these rules of tact and etiquette, unspoken as they are, but as well observed as they are for a reason. People are vulnerable sometimes. People are not always at their best or their fullest. And one day that's going to be you. One day you're going to be that guy who lost a loved one or a friend or is dealing with some heavy shit. And then there's going to be some ass hat sitting right over there cracking jokes about the thing that you can barely get over right now. Some ineffable tragedy of terrible proportions and then some jerk off is saying they're cracking some two dollar joke about it, right? Don't be that guy. Don't be that person who is using completely tactless language around hurt people so that you can just drive a point home or something. Yes, getting a reaction out of people can be a kick sometimes. Even I know that. But, when you're just sitting there poking at somebody's fresh wound because it's funny, not only then are you demonstrating a lack of tact, you're showing the world how much of an asshole you are. People remember that. Like, it's one thing to accidentally misspeak and make a comment about somebody's recently departed friend or relative. It's another to sit there and crack a suicide joke when they hung themselves. And this is one of those videos where I almost don't believe we have to have this conversation because I feel like the level of empathy that is required to understand tact is so basic that we can all get it. But perhaps there are people that just choose to ignore it. Or perhaps not everybody gets it. Or perhaps some people are just fundamentally childish and dickish at heart. What it comes down to is people love to demonstrate a fundamental lack of tact. And I am not saying that you have to be a mind reader, or that you must be perfect at this, or that you can't ever offend anybody and you got to walk on eggshells. That's not what I'm saying at all. What I am saying is that within your abilities as a human, with your knowledge and understanding of the people around you, try to use a little perspective and common sense when opening your goddamn mouth, okay? It's not hard. Like I said, the examples I said are so egregious, but people do them. Like making suicide jokes with someone who just had a friend or relative kill themselves, you know? We can all not do that. It's very simple and easy to not do that. You know, in fact, that that's a really shitty thing to do, don't you? Pretty much everybody does. So, why do it? Whether it's on the internet, whether it's in real life, whatever, it doesn't matter. Would you enjoy that in your life where the worst of whatever you can imagine just happened to you and there's some guy cracking some jokes about it like it's not even a big deal? And worse, what if he's actually cracking them knowing that it makes you uncomfortable? Hmm? You don't want to be in that situation. Nobody does, I think. And if you are sitting there doing that sort of thing, cracking such tasteless jokes and... Let's have a quick aside here about the kind of things I'm talking about with tact. You don't need to crack that kind of joke, do you? 
Not really, you don't. Really, you can come up with better humor or something else to poke at somebody about rather than something that's going to potentially cause them real emotional pain. Was it worth it? If, if you're that kind of person, was it really worth it for your little cheap laugh to know that you actually just really hurt somebody? And if it is worth it to you, well, one day, just remember my little thing towards the beginning. One day you'll be in that position too. One day you will be the person going through a world of pain and hurt and waiting for somebody to sympathize with you. And guess what? You're going to reap what you sow then. Everybody's going to remember that you were that asshole with no tact who cracked those tasteless jokes when somebody else was crying. They're going to remember that. And you know what? They're not going to have a shoulder for you to cry on. They're not going to have sympathy for you. They're just going to think, well, about time he got what was coming to him. And I don't like being the kind of person who wishes these sorts of things on other people. I don't like sitting there saying, well, he deserved that tragedy. But when you are the kind of person who likes to belittle other people's tragedies or you're just the kind of person who gives no thoughts to other people's weaknesses and vulnerabilities and gives no thoughts to what you say, well, I don't hope tragedy happens to you. I don't care how asshole you are. I don't hope tragedy happens to you. But I do hope that if it does come to you, that there is somebody there to listen to you and not to subject you to what you have subjected other people to because it's not fair and it's not funny. And yeah, sorry, I can't sympathize with malevolent assholes. If you're the kind of person who accidentally messes up tact because you just don't read the signs that well or something, or you are just ignorant of social interaction on some level like that, where you don't know why somebody's offended, well, I'm not going to really necessarily say, oh, well, you're a bad person. Not here, because you don't know, but bone up on this crap. It's important. I called it a survival skill for a reason. And people who make other people cry and feel bad because of their funny jokes, quote-unquote, and even if you don't realize they're doing that, doesn't matter. They're not going to like you. They're not going to like that guy who makes them feel like shit. And so, in conclusion, quite simply, I can't say it clearly enough, don't be that guy. And we can all get along much better in this world. Just something to think about.